it seems like it seems like in line for the papal authority. <laughs> the papals. <laughs> Those of you in the Vatican, the papals. No, um, they have a lame symbol though. The Vatican? Like a bunch of keys. The Isn't that what it is? Yeah. I, I don't blame. No, anyway, I turn off all my sound because today we're doing the yeah. Ellis Woods podcast. Welcome back, kids. Today we're going to discuss Madonna. Yeah. Good luck with that. So, so. She's like a. She's like a vampire who <laughs> sucks people's blood to sustain her youth, but is like bad at hiding. <laughs> you would have done the same if you were her. She's like. She looks. She. I don't know how to explain it. She looks suspiciously young. We're not, not here like, to diss Madonna. It's t- it's t- not it's naturally t- young, but like suspiciously young. Match Donna. Anyway, yeah. today I'm with my co-host, Michael Jeffrey Stevens. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> yeah, hello, Michael Jeffrey Stevens. Hey, guys! Oh, you sound like you came from my mic. <laughs> Shit, I dropped my sword. Do you know what Wikipedia page I'm on right now? Michael Jeffrey Stevens. In no. plain plane. Idiot's defense. Shit. Idiot defense ah! also goes by the name of dumb CEO defense, dummy defense, ostrich defense, <laughs> the Ken Lay offense, Sergeant Schultz defense. I'm also with my co my other deputy acting first assistant vice co host, um, Michael Jeffrey Jeffries. <laughs> Hello, Michael Jeffrey Jeffries. Okay, yes. and I'm also with my uh, our special guest, Madonna's agent. <laughs> Hello, Madonna's <laughs> agent. And today we're going to discuss uh, if Madonna uh, is she rich? Is she dead? Who? How many skeletons does she have in the closet? Is she that woman from Resident Evil Eight? Who knows? Is she the singer? <laughs> does she songs? Who knows? Anyway, speaking of Madonna, Arjun, do you know who Admiral Hyman G. Rickover is? No. It's my last <laughs> said that. Why? But I use my, but I use my ghost feathers. Why didn't she work? Hang on, you can make that jump, mate. This map is a lot funner than the other map. Oh. Don't you remember the first one where you and I just consistently failed, and we cried? That's like a daily occurrence for you, lot. Yeah, but but the crying does not always happen, though. It should. It's the best part. But but Keon's tear ducts, it takes a while to recharge ever since that surgery he had. Yeah, where they removed my tear ducts. So yeah, was he thought it would make him stop aging, but it didn't. <laughs> it turns out tear ducts aren't correlated with aging. <laughs> yes, I How do I connect it. this? Oh, um, I'll help you. Go to settings, then go to... Um, resolution, <clears throat> right? You change your resolution oh. from hatred to five. Okay, good. What set point are you on, William? <laughs> First. I'm still what? there. Are you on third? What? Shit. Yes. How did you get there? All the jumps. Were, I did all the jumps first try. I thought there was a feather. I thought there was a feather um thing to 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 cheat the first one, but there wasn't. I am just shit at parkour. Oh, we have our next topic on the board. It's, uh... Why is the worst game studio? Uh, let, I'm gonna switch that. Let's, why is the best game studio? Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Madonna's agent, since you're gonna leave first. Oh, I'm Madonna's agent. Uh... <laughs> I think Madonna's anti-aging. <laughs> That's the best game studio. Yeah. That's the best game studio to you. Madonna's anti-aging cream. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Honestly, she, she would be like... No, we can't. She's like the main villain in an Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. And, uh, we're not here to diss Madonna. We're here to do a non-support podcast. I want to I diss Madonna and Ubisoft at the same time. Okay, how right? does Ubisoft and Madonna relate? Go. They're two immortal, never aging, never dying immortal monsters that have lost what made them good and now are just like. I don't know, they give me the creeps. Well, only of one of them does TikTok. 
Yeah, it's Ubisoft. Yeah. Yeah, but Ubisoft gives me microtransactions, which is, which is equally as bad. <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. Oh, that's this has nothing to do with their game quality, just because you have, they they offer you the ability to spend money to win. It is the game quality. Fair point. Yeah. They they sell like so much. They, they release like half a story and they sell, re- release the rest of the story under like paywalls. I like when they do it sometimes well, because I haven't thought of the rest of the story yet. It, that's definitely why. There are almost guaranteed some authors who go to their fan forums and just steal ideas there. And act like, yes, it was always intended, yes. Yeah, and it just feels like a large part of yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's as well. <laughs> yeah, in my head, Harry Potter was a 65-year-old man when it started. He was 70 when it ended. Have you, have you seen the, 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 the what's it called? The, ha- the Harry Potter RPG? <laughs> I want to play that. No, you said RPG. You didn't say JRPG. No, it's it RPG. RPG. It's British. I kind of want a J- Harry Potter JRPG, though. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine it? it Can you fun. imagine Japanese Voldemort? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there's two options for him, though. I mean, he's more Wait, content. I swear I've seen this. I, I swear, like, it used to be a meme, right? Like, the Japanese dub for Harry Potter. <laughs> I need yeah. to see I this. I swear I've seen that clip. I need to see this. Because in my head right now, yeah, I, I, I I'm swear so it was one. like a viral clip. You should stop at one, William. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. No, in my head, I, I need to watch I this. I got a Japanese dub. I, I need, need to watch this. this up. I need to watch this. Parkour is particularly difficult. I don't think the parkour oh. thing made me rage quit. Um. Hold up, I need to see this. I kind of want to watch Kenan's live stream and see how far ahead he is. Uh, where is this girl? Ah, oh. oh, I thought Arjun put it in, in. Wait, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Good. Oh. What? Huh? Oh. Oh. No, I, I, I dined over there. I don't know why I got the checkpoint. Oh, Christ. Wait, I want to be the very best. Oops! Oh, Christ. So I'm being distracted by something. Arjun, play Call of Duty Warzone with us. Right here. Wait, you saw it, right? Or do no. I need to send it? Send it to me, because... Fine. <clears throat> It'd be good watching, I tell you what. Joe oh. Keon, you got it. Yeah, I just picked up one, which I saw. Christ. Let's watch it. It's going, you're going to hear the audio, kids, and my reaction. It's <laughs> interesting. わかる人はいるかな真似ようかいボガト。その通りだよ、ディーン。では、僕は。いや、Harry Potter. Ah, oh, I see. That was okay. the next big thing. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Where's the part where he guns down the children? Ridiculous. 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 And that reminds me. <laughs> what, what was it called? I saw. I saw like a title on Twitter. I can't remember what like the main thread was, but the reply was Harry Potter and the Half Blood Crypt. <laughs> Okay. That's what it reminded me of. 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 That's 
おばあさんの服装を想像してごらん。People who are like five years older than us. Just because they're elderly doesn't mean we have to disrespect them. In fact, they're elderly. No, they're the only ones who care, probably. Oh, this is just a regular anime dub. There's, there's, like, there's no violence or destruction. I don't know, that's not the one. There was one which is violent. I can't remember what it is. But anyway. Like where's, the one where, be like, where's the one where Gandalf or whatever <laughs> flies in on his jet ski and just starts decapitating everyone? Where's that one? Wait. <laughs> Who said. Oh, 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 we're gonna do the outro now? <laughs> no. Uh, There's a Cocoa Pop mystery I, flavor. I thought I'll start to cocoa on a regular basis in order to. I'm gonna disconnect you. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Is the Cocoa Pops flavor? No, I, the, the, I got mad for Cocoa Pops mystery flavor. I wonder what the mystery flavor in Cocoa Pops could even be. Other than chocolate. Can they do anything else? Liquid hatred. I would watch Harry Potter if they replace Harry Potter with, like, the Queen of England. Like, I think that would... Make such a good fit. Anyway, Arjun, oh, sorry, not Arjun. Hey, podcast people, listeners. Recently, me and Derek, Derek, <laughs> that's his name now. Me and Derek, we, we went through a li- the list of state leaders and decided if they are hairy or not. Arjun, <laughs> who do you think the most, who's the most Wait, hairy? Wait, yeah, I got a Japanese dub that you might like. Okay, good. This this is this was viral, I guess. Five million views for Tom and Jerry. It's actually short. Is that it's actually I'm very short. Long. Tom and Jerry Tom and Jerry on YouTube is like other than Mr. Bean. It's like Look, Tom and Jerry is great. <laughs> I love that it's like a proper dub with no acting. Wait, wait, wait. I just found this, and this is also funny. I like the. I just skipped to the Japanese dub, I don't know why. Alright. But it's funny. Oh no! I need to watch this. Let's, okay, I'm watching it now. Harry Potter is dead! <laughs> <laughs> and now is the time to declare yourself. The Russian one's also pretty funny. Harry Potter is taught! And now is the time to declare yourself. Harry Potter, Murio! Stop doing laughter. Sí. <laughs> Llegó el momento de su juramento. That's good. Oh, there's a Vietnamese one. Good. Harry Potter, I'm morto. <laughs> Hungarian one sounds like he's he's <laughs> genuinely <laughs> fun. The <laughs> line's hilarious. It is funny line. Please, please go to Hungarian one and listen to the line. Go, I want to go to all these. <laughs> That's a good French laughter. Even the Vietnamese laughter is funny. Canadian it's funny. <laughs> Harry Potter is mort! The instant is venu pour vous de déclarer votre foi. Oh no. Harry Potter Vasida! <laughs> That's a good Japanese laugh. That's good. That sounds like the Russian Voldemort is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Harry Potter is the mortal! 
<risos> e agora chegou a hora para que se declarem. Harry Potter Martin! <risos> Настав час визначитись, друзі мої. Гаррі oh, Поттер не жиє! Найвищий час, щоб ще окрасити. Гаррі Поттер, мій хвилин! That's good. That's good. That's good laughing. Harry Potter, not you! The way in the maze one sounds like an anime character. That's good laughter. Harry Potter, not you! I actually don't understand, though. Why did these videos get a million views? No. Ah, uh, Mike, I hope you've been watching them. No? Uh, no. Really. You. <laughs> anyway, it's my belief that the Japanese dub is always better. No, the English dub is always better than subtitles. <laughs> Screw reading subtitles. I came to a movie to read, not to watch. Wait, wrong Yeah, one. because if there are subtitles, I will basically almost always focus on the subtitles and yeah. not whatever that is happening in the video. Yeah. Right. Oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, I was distracted by something. I've been seeing this ad a lot, and I kind of wish this guy was just Peter Wish Wilson. That would cheer me up. I'll send this to Worcester, to Andy Worski. Um, that was, uh, I, I wish that was just Peter Wish Wilson. But it's not yeah. some man. Yeah. It's never Peter Wish Wilson. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet that. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, officially for the 2022 federal election, there are 1,624 candidates. Not 8,500? No. Yeah. Okay, let's see. All right, apparently the British say cocaine. Cocaine. Not cocaine. Yeah, cocaine. I heard it also pronounced as Soviet. 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 Not Soviet. 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 Oh, okay. So for okay, so for Greenway, so this will apply for me and Arjun, not you. Will. Screw you! I live in Greenway. No, uh. <laughs> this will be the order of candidates. Go ahead. You know, the Australia Party are lucky they get first with Mark Andrew Rex. Screw him. Then it's Michelle Rowland for the Labour Party. Then it's Adam Cash Cash Ch Cach 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 Cachwaller. For the Liberal Democratic Party. Then we've got Ricardo Umberto Garrio Bossi, independent. Mm -hmm. Love Preet Singh Nanda, independent. Yeah. Rick Turner, Pauline Hansen's One Nation. Pradeep Pathy, the Liberal Party. And Damien Atkins for the Green. Okay. I know who I'm. And then, oh my the goodness. The Senate tickets are big, so don't mention Yeah. That. I'm counting how many Senate candidates there are. I'm still numbering all of them. I want to be clear. I did it for the local government ballot paper and I'll number all of this one again. Yep, yep I'll also number all of them. So there are. So because it's New South Wales, one, two. Oh, actually, I won't count it out loud, so it'll be secret until I tell you. Anyway, ignoring all that, I have a statement from the AE Australian Electoral Commission. Breaking news Mr. Rod Cullerton, Rodney Cullerton, sorry, former Senator of Western Australia, they have taken away his nomination. Why? What did he do? Because he did not tell the AEC that he's bankrupt. He's he's on the index of people who are personally insolvent. And according to the Constitution, if you have an undisclosed, undischarged bankrupts or bankruptcy or insolvency, you cannot become a sitting member of the Senate or House. And they have nah. referred him to the police. He 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 made a declaration that he's not bankrupt, but he is. Okay, I may I don't know if I miscounted, but there are seventy five candidates Senate paper. Ah, oh, God. Uh, no counting, though. That's enough for one whole Senate. Oh, no, with one vacancy. 
That's good, cat. It's good half at ACT. Yeah, they retweeted that for the sleep. For the, yeah, that's yeah. a retweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing triple, not double. I don't. I don't. I just see three verification just... symbols. No. The guy who made Professor Layden puzzles died. Apparently, that's why they've stopped. I'm glad you say died, not assassinated. They left it all for one guy. Yeah. That's insane. Sometimes but he apparently made brain, brain teasers. That's all he did. He was a psychologist who made brain teasers. That's one of the greatest. But you know what? Yeah, it's a cool job. That's awesome. I, I think Damien Atkins was the same green skin like from Lost. So then you're kind of Um So I'm voting for the Dyson vacuum cleaner. That's what I'm voting for. Ignore all of that though. I have here Reddit and we're gonna do a game off Reddit, okay? Oh, I'll be doing Yeah, it was Damien Atkins. I'm gonna tell you a story and you're gonna tell me if I'm an asshole. No, uh Oh god, and we're not allowed to rate if they're real or not. Well, you have your gavel, or is that unavailable? Uh, yeah, I'll get my gavel. Hold on. Uh, I will have to do it close to my chair. That's fine. Oh, microphone. I mean. Yep, okay, I'm ready. Okay, so I'm only going to do near ones and short ones, because I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit drowsy right now. So, hmm. and Arjun, you don't need to listen to the full story, you just need to get enough information. Am I ready? Am I the asshole? Oh, why? That one's too long. Jesus Christ. People have so much to say, but not enough substance. Okay. Am I the asshole for telling my friend he's not a self-made millionaire entrepreneur? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I have nothing against my friend, but he was born in a very wealthy business family. So when, okay. he, so when he told me that he made a startup that is now valued around nine figures without taking any money from his parents and not using their connections, Instead so that he's a self-made millionaire entrepreneur. I don't buy it. All I'm saying is that... I don't think he cares. Like, if I no, had a nine-figure business, I don't care what he's doing. I'm not done. I have nine figures. All I'm saying is that he has a safety cushion to fall back upon if his business gig did not, start, you know, not, did not take off. A lot of people don't have that sort of safety net. So he's not a, safe, a self-made millionaire entrepreneur. And he's upset that I don't take him as self-made. Am I the asshole? Why? Nine figures is billion dollar industry. I wouldn't care. You can say whatever you want. No, but he's taking it uh, personally because he's like, I work really hard for my nine figures. Jesus I, I, I say the OP is not an arsehole. Oh, I'm going to rate not an arsehole. Doosh, we'll work. We'll work okay. and not officially not an arsehole. Oh, 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 shoot, but the Argent descent. I mean. Not? I'm going to say he is. Like, it's all fine to think about it, but why go ahead and say it? And that's, like, confront uh, confrontational for no reason. <laughs> like, if they want to think about it, sure, let them think of themselves as that. Who is it hurting? Like, I, I don't see the point in arguing. No, but maybe he's annoyed like that he's bragging. Dying on a stupid hill. Well, Arjun, did you see me bragging like I'm this super hard-working person? Then you say, well, you're, you're not the hardest-working person in Australia. But from what I gathered, it's only because he had something to fall upon. Basically, yeah. Okay. Yep. So? Yep. That, the... I, I reckon every billionaire is like that. What billionaire was like dirt broke? Now for the next one. This is actually written by me. I posted this, okay? Oh. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Uh, I'm making this up. So are you ready? Yeah. UNICEF so, transported one billion syringes stop to the talking world. Talking about UNICEF, no. Uh, so am I the asshole? So I made plans. Um, sorry, I made other plans on my friend's birthday. Thanks for misunderstanding. Am I the asshole? So my friend. What was the misunderstanding? My friend, their birthday is on Saturday, and they normally do not go out. Like we haven't been drinking with each other for years, but we talk to each other every day. So last week, they sent a screenshot from a local bar into our group chat and said, This will be fun! I replied saying, oh, Should we go? It's been so long since we've all been together out. No one replied. So a few days later, another friend invited me to a party on the same night and I said yes because I had nothing else going on. So now my first friend's angry because they're under the impression we we're going to go out on Saturday, this Saturday, even though there was no plans being made. So mighty asshole, I feel like she replied. 
And the other two friends in the chat didn't reply either. They're both. Like, if you if you said you couldn't make it because they had to meet, I don't think I would be angry. I don't think I care enough to be angry, to be honest. People are different. Like, yeah, but, like, see, that's the issue. I feel like these people aren't human. They're like <laughs> drama characters out of a TV show. <laughs> They're always angry or upset. <laughs> About things which people aren't angry or upset about. <laughs> I feel rational people. I'm gonna aren't. make the person not an asshole. That's what I'm gonna say. Screw you. I think they made an honest mistake and they should just live with it. Go to the party. The party's guaranteed. Screw your friend's birthday. They'll turn order next year. Screw them. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with William. Yeah, you're gonna descend on. I'm gonna go with mine. I think they're both. Uh, well, too late. We overruled you, non asshole. No, no, so. Next one. Am I the asshole for texting my best friend weekly since she's been ignoring me? So that so it's me, William, twenty years old male. I've been testing, I uh, testing. I've been messaging my best friend of nine years, who's also a twenty year old male, for almost a year straight, and have received no response. I haven't seen him in person for over a year, but I know he's doing fine. He's still active on social media, and he's still in town. But he like cut me off his life entirely. It started last summer when I saw on his Instagram that, that no, I saw that his Instagram account is suddenly gone. And this confused me, because he only just got onto Instagram. But I found out later that he blocked me on Instagram. I huh. texted him, why did you block me? And he didn't reply. So I got I sent him around like two to three text messages to his phone every week. They say something like, hey, what's going on, dude? And this is the most, you know, the most conflict we've been with disagreement on political lines. But, you know, it's never been more than just mild arguments during video games. I suspect that his girlfriend, who he started dating a few weeks before he blocked me, and is quite extreme in her own views, has oh. made him block me and one other friend out of his life. I can't confirm this. So I know this is not very serious like other things here, but we've been best friends for basically half our lives, and I feel empty now. He just cut me out of, me, out of his life. Am I the asshole for trying to bring him back to my life, or am I not? No, I'm going to say not an asshole. Okay, Arjun? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. He sounds like a girl on the side. <laughs> His, that that guy's girlfriend caught him like cheating. That's, that, <laughs> I don't know. Understand. He sounds more than a friend. This sounds like more than a friend. I feel empty. Oh my god. We're good friends. But okay. We're just really good friends. I'm gonna make not an asshole. Yeah, but empty. Empty. Yeah. If I were to die tomorrow, I... you would feel empty. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I feel incredibly sad, but not empty. empty is like, <laughs> empty is like, empty is like, like, I've lost ev all meaning. Yeah. That's what empty is. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. Like, wouldn't you feel empty if one day you and find like, out? I'm yeah. going to be honest, if it's me, and I text it like two to three weeks and they continuously ghost me, I wouldn't reply every week. <laughs> I would just give up. <laughs> They may even have it automatically send a message. <laughs> yeah. Like an email every yeah. week for the rest of time. <laughs> it says that a guy just changed yeah. phone numbers. <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, but I feel did. like he's a psychopath. I don't mean, not an he's asshole. He's not an asshole, but he's like a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, or else he's, he's romantically involved. Not an asshole, know. unanimous. Not an asshole. He's either a psychopath <laughs> or romantically involved. I, I, I don't know. I Maybe he's a psychopath who's romantically involved. Next one. Am I the asshole for disturbing my roommate's sleep? So I own a cat. So you can call me Catherine or something. And I have a roommate. Let's call him Rumi. Uh, and we have a cat and dog and we live together for a significant amount of time in our small apartment. But due to Rumi's hectic work schedule, he hasn't been able to get a consistent sleep schedule. So any disturbance wakes him up. So what I've done is I've basically just been living in my own room. Only leaving to make food, you know, go outside. And where there's an attempt uh, when I cannot avoid making a disturbance. However, this is not working. Our pets not share his, his sleep schedule, and they move around whenever anyone's awake. So when I go to the gym, usually for an hour, they walk around the apartment waiting for me to return, distu disturbing Rumi's sleep. So to prevent this, I've suggested closing their door when they want to sleep, and kicking their animals out into the living room, and even my room, when they refuse. And, uh, yeah, basically that. However, it's not working, and you know, I, I've even started wearing socks around the apartment just to silence my footsteps, but it's not good enough. So I've given up. Rumi brings up the topic now, and I say to him, I've done everything! 
And I don't complain when you watch the TV on max volume when I'm trying to sleep, so I don't care. Uh, am I the asshole? It's a cat! How loud is it? There's a cat, a cat. and a dog. And a dog. Yeah, but like, I know where headphones. I do have <laughs> is that your solution to Rumi's problem that he can't sleep? Headphones. Yeah, that's what I do. Fair point. What I would do is to grab a bullpen hammer and just hit yourself in the head and you'll fall asleep faster. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, anyway, I'm reading the person. Oh, it's confusing though. They did have an outbreak at their roommate. They're like, oh, you watch TV on max volume when I'm trying to sleep. Which is petty, but not necessarily Bruh, asshole. I don't know, I've never man. met someone who watches TV on max volume. Never have yeah. I. That, that, that damages ears. Yeah. Also, it's your not just that. I feel like it's it's mm-hmm. just it's just like I've never met anyone who's like has the courage to do that. Fair like point, I've yeah. always been curious to do it, but I don't think I have the courage to do it. I never had the reason to do it. Anyway, I'm gonna rate very slightly not an asshole, but they did have an outbreak. I'm okay, gonna rate not an asshole. I'm gonna name fiction because I think, I think Arjun said not. I like to think he just said roomie because he probably couldn't think of a no, name. No, I said roomie. They called him roommate. I called him roomie. Oh, okay, all right. Then I take it back. I don't know. I just no, think it's asshole. stupid. Okay. Just drink alcohol. That's drink the solution. To roomy. Okay. I appreciate that. Nope, this one I refuse to read because it is, it's not even paragraphed. I'll, I'll probably do only one more. We'll do the last one then and for the outro. Okay, so this is a future. <laughs> so my sister's getting married this summer in Italy. So Italy. And I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'll attend. And luckily, it falls on my 30th birthday. Right? Oh. Unfortunately, though, me and my sister cannot be any more different. We're, like, literally opposites. I'm quiet, reserved, a bit of a homebody. And, I, you know, I have nerdy friends, according to her. On the other hand, she works in event management. She goes to parties a lot and cares enormously about appearance and what people think of her. So she surrounds herself with cool girls who are just mean girls and bitches and they often use her to get free tickets and where events she's planning. Ooh. I heard countless stories of these girls. Can I say something? Like can I, can I say yeah, something? Go she's 30, right? Isn't that what I'm they said? 30. Do people say cool girl and nerdy girl at the age of 30? Maybe if they're okay, twenty, sixteen-year-old like girl. Maybe if they're twenty, maybe if they're sixteen-year-old in a thirty-year-old body. Um, I've never heard anyone <laughs> talk like this at thirty. It's uh, <laughs> it's so weird. No comment. So I've okay. So Sorry. I've heard countless stories of them treating my sister like trash, but she always forgives them. So long story short, I kind of hate them, but I kind of hate her friends. But I was willing to go to the party, but then you know. Uh, the bachelorette party is also on my birthday, the weekend of my birthday. We also have a younger sister who's 16, and she wasn't invited. Oh. So I texted my older sister and asked, uh, uh, we, well, we can go on a trip to London, just the three of us. You know, something I wanted to do before, and then she can go party with her friends. She's not mad at me, but she sounded really disappointed. She said, well, whatever, this thing will probably not ha- even happen. Complaining about the, her bridemaid bitches, cool girl's friends. And I felt so bad, I said sorry, and I would definitely attend. And I now regret that, because I'm not in charge of planning. I said, she's not in charge of planning, but uh, it's, it's, things are not going great. The planning's not going great. A lot of the bridesmaids are new mums, and they give me the door open to cancel at the last minute. They also want everything as cheap as possible. They don't want to stay in a hostel. They also don't want to do any activity except eating and drinking and going to a drag show. So, look, I don't mind helping with the planning, and I don't mind participating if it's on another weekend, but I feel like I'd be sacrificing a lot by going on that weekend, because I'm turning 30, which is a big milestone, and I don't want to spend my birthday weekend surrounded by bitches <laughs> with my younger sister, who's getting married before me. Sorry, she's not older, she's younger. I don't resent her at all, but I think spending my 30th birthday celebrating her engagement would make me feel depressed. I know it's stupid, but, uh... Anyway, my boyfriend has offered to take me to Portugal instead. Am I the asshole if I don't go to my sister's party in Italy? Has the OP said up. they are going? Yes. Okay. They said they are going and then they don't go. I'm can to they, say they, they are. Where did you notice? Okay, with due notice and yeah, yeah, not an on. Ah, good. So it's a conditional. I'm looking at famous uh, directors like David Shaw, 
you know, TV TV directors. Because uh, I feel like this story is like a telenovela in the in the in yeah. like the in the happening. Oh, what, what the hell is going on? I'm so confused. <laughs> I I I did not understand anything that was going on. <laughs> Isn't like majority of adulthood dealing with people you don't like? I thought, I thought, I thought something that starts at 16 years old. But uh, yeah, basically. But this is balancing. Know, it's just so dumb. Hey, I'm going to rate not the ass so because I like the story. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, for what it goes, it's a short <laughs> one. Someone should write, I'm like, like... I'm like an agent for Jerry Bruckheimer. Okay, this is the next one. Then. <laughs> like, this is the last one. We would like so. to, we would like to buy a story. <laughs> I thought you meant their, they said their profession is an agent for Jerry Bruckheimer. Uh, <laughs> well, Arjun, you rate not an asshole. Yeah. You can't rate fiction. I That's not rating. Don't know. I'm gonna say not an asshole. Voice so, conditional. I think half. So, I'll just say not an asshole. Okay. Okay. Next one. So, me, am I an asshole telling my friend to fuck off? So, here's the <laughs> thing. I'm 15 years old. I'm a woman. Well, no. And I have a friend who's 16 year old. 16, 16 years old. So, me and her were friends for three years. I'm a lesbian. I came out to her a few months ago. She said she 100% supports me. And she also agreed to keep her a secret because my parents are really, really don't like that. So, I was happy at the time because I thought I could trust her. And then I found out she outed me to other people. People that we know. Oh. And those people didn't know I was lesbian before. I was mad because I thought I could trust her, but she stabbed me in the back. I told her that she didn't. What she did was not okay. She owes me an apology. And she says she will not apologize. Jesus Christ! Oh. So I was pissed off that she broke my trust. So I told her to fuck off. She then started crying, and now I've broken up the friend group. Some on her side, some on mine. Oh no! Am I the oh. asshole? Uh, see, it's I gonna... think teenagers are stupid. I genuinely do, but this is like too stupid. Yeah, I was stupid. This is like teenager. you. This is like this is like you should know that you are in the right. This is like one of the few things which I think anyone could say that they are hundred percent in the right. <laughs> that you don't need to make a Reddit post about. Yeah. Like I can't understand why someone would put this because if you ask this to a hundred people i'm pretty sure <laughs> if not a hundred 99 people will say that you're not you know you're yeah, in the right it's asshole. just that's just how yeah. right you are yeah which means this is a hundred percent fake <laughs> no, this is so he, fake he God damn it. okay okay i'm gonna write nine asshole. I, i'm telling you one of these days someone's going to say like <laughs> I am the prime minister. <laughs> Someone's going to say like, um, my friend says gravity isn't real, but I did. Am I? Am I the asshole? It's like, what do you want me to say? It's, <laughs> it's. Oh my god! I, love I feel that. like I lose brain cells. Okay, taking the story into consideration. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Our generation and the generation below is like sick for clout. I'm, it's, I'm sick it's, for clout it's, right it's a now. Disease. Um, so you're right. What I'm saying is, I love that they won't back down. They won't even apologize. <laughs> They're like, oh, you made me really upset. The other guy's like, no, I will keep outing you. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like, it's like she's, she, she, she's like collecting like pills, <laughs> going up to people and saying, even people who don't know who you are. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. You go to Macca's drive through Did you know my friend's lesbian? Like, oh, really? <laughs> it's, it's like something from Home and Away. <laughs> I think it's a drama uh, subplot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I wouldn't be shocked <laughs> if it wasn't a drama show. Especially with the fact that the friend group split into two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not even a subplot. It's a whole week arc. Holy crap. Yeah. Anyway, what, what do you they should They should hold a fighting know. tournament. <laughs> Whoever whoever wins get to get out of oh. is is the right is 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 in the right because clearly she doesn't think that this is a hundred percent in her right decision. I don't know why she thinks it's such a mixed decision. So we should just make the no, we should whoever make it a mixed decision. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, yeah. yeah, that's what the judges of the boxing match will say. Mm, they can't. No one got knocked out. Yeah, mixed anyway, decision. Anyway, let let's just make her not an asshole. Like, uh, unanimously, with full consent of the parliament, not an asshole. I don't have to put the motion. No. Yep. 
I want to uh, say that she is for making this fake story. God. Damn it, we can't unanimous this. Anyway, Ooh. going off what happened in the story, and this friend who refused to back down for some bloody reason. <laughs> she, she's I, like the, I like the thing she just genuinely doesn't want to believe. <laughs> that, she's, <laughs> that she's gay. <laughs> okay. It's like she has a bet with someone. <laughs> that she's straight. So she goes... <laughs> So she's trying her best That's to find really it. That's really messed up, though. The teenagers, they're learning their sexual identity, and you have this friend trying to convince them they're straight. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that, that <laughs> that's probably what's going on. Yeah, I'm using my professor laden skills. Why didn't we do this in high school? Skill. Why didn't we just go around outing people and telling them no? Why didn't we do that in high school? All we did in high school was laugh and play Minecraft. Hmm. Anyway, let's do Because I don't think anyone cared. Yeah, not really. I genuinely yeah. don't think anyone in high school cares who you who are interested in. I have never been interested. I don't think anyone else is. I should have gone to a girl's high find school. It's so fake. And ironically, though, um, my cousin, who is a teenage girl, she, she has been coming about people being bitchy in her, in her mixed high school. So who knows? Maybe I should have just gone to a high school for the drama. Hmm. For a co-ed one. Anyway, let's do the outro. Um, like, where can we find you? That's some IP address that I don't remember. Oh, wait, is it one nine? Oh, sorry. Uh, Arjun, where can we find you? On YouTube. My PewDiePie. Where can you find me? At Unlisted Force. I'm not going to tell you how to get there, though. Oh, Christ, sorry. Um, hey, kids. Did, did you ever hear a good word about Jesus Christ? Wait, that's not the end record button. That's my mute button. <laughs> <laughs>